Hey, this is Jack Bourne. I'm the founder of Dell and Funnel. And on behalf of my team, I want to talk to you about a new feature that we've just released called the hybrid deadline. So this would be any time where you want to say, hey, I want to have an evergreen deadline, but let's choose a day of the week, possibly Friday or Thursday, Wednesday, Tuesday, whatever day you want, but you choose a specific day of the week and that's when you want your deadline to be. We have a lot of clients who have come to us and said, you know, my funnel is set up so that I always want the deadline to be on X, you know, whatever the day is. Um, can you help me out? So I want to talk about that and show you how to use that. So this is in, a, in just one quick image. This is what this would look like. So we've chosen Friday as the example. So it is evergreen, which means that once a deadline, once a prospect has been tracked, if they miss the deadline, it's not going to reset for them for the following week. It's not one of those things where it's sleazy and skeezy and fake. It is a real deadline. It's just that the tracking is always that next fill in the blank, that next Friday in this example. So let me go ahead and show you two ways that you can do this. So the first way is using our new hybrid deadline feature. And so this is where you use the deadline funnel logic, which is what I'm showing you right here. So the brain of this is being controlled by deadline funnel. So as people come into your funnel, you're telling deadline funnel in this example, Friday is the deadline. So if they show up on a Monday, Friday is the deadline. If they show up on a Tuesday, Friday is the deadline. If they show up on a Wednesday, Friday is the deadline. So you always know that whatever day of the week that you choose, that's going to be the deadline. So let me show you real quick in the admin where you set this up. So when, when, you're, um, when you are editing your campaign, you go under settings and you could choose the hybrid deadline option, this right here. So I'll, I'll click on that right now and you just choose the day of the week, you choose the time of day, and, um, and some of the other features as well. And by the way, you can use this with the API. So you can set up the API integrations to integrate with all of your favorite um, email, email software uh, systems, including Zapier, which opens up a world of possibilities and how you can integrate Deadline Funnel. So let me go back to the presentation and show you that the other way that you can do this is using your email software logic. So ESP stands for email software provider. So over in the left hand corner, I'm showing that the, the brain here is one of the email software providers. Um, so CRM, something like that. So you might be using Infusionsoft or Active Campaign, Drip, something like that. And so this is a little bit different. When you're doing it this way, you're not taking advantage. You don't have to take advantage of our new feature, the hybrid deadline. And so you would use the logic inside of your email software to say, wait until the next available, whatever the day of the week is, and then move to the next sequence. So you're actually choosing the start. You're not really choosing the end, but since a sequence, this sequence is gonna be a finite amount of time, when you're starting everyone at the same predictable day of the week, you're gonna end at the same predictable day of the week. So let me clear out some of my sketches here and just point out that um, what you would do is you would have certain people who are tagged in your system and they're probably in this in this holding area, sort of in limbo, uh, waiting around until your logic, they wouldn't wait very long, just a few days until the next Monday in this example rolls around. And then they would be moved into the sequence and, um, and there would be the integration with deadline funnel so that everything is synchronized up. And I've made a little note here, anytime that you're sending out emails, you want to make sure to use our expiring links just to keep your tracking accurate from device to device to device. Okay, so um, is there, you know, which, which one should you choose? I'll get to that, I'll get to some of those details in a little bit, but let me just mention right now that when you are able to use an email software provider, if your email software provider has uh, real fine granular controls, over exactly when someone could be moved into the next sequence, then we recommend using using this. For everything else, we recommend uh, our hybrid deadline feature. That's why we built it for all those situations where you can't use your uh, your your email software provider for one reason or another. So uses, um, as I just mentioned, if your email software doesn't have that detailed control over how long you wait. So for example, and I'm not picking on anyone's system, but uh, we integrate, we have a direct integration with ConvertKit. However, uh, based on what we've seen so far right now as of this recording, their ConvertKit is not quite as detailed about exactly how long you can wait and moving someone into a sequence only on a specific day of the week. Uh, there might be some workarounds, but it's, it, it, 
as far as we know, it's not possible to do. So even though we have a direct API integration, if you're going to be doing this, you're probably going to want to use our hybrid Dublin feature. So another one is that some of our clients are using this for um, automated webinar scenarios. So anytime that you just know, my sequence is going to end always, always, always on this particular day of the week, but I want it to be evergreen, this is one of those situations where you can use it. So coming soon, um, first of all, let me just mention that we would love to have your feedback. If there's something that you would like to see in this that we just haven't thought about, please let us know. But here's one thing that we have thought about and we're developing right now. We should be able to release in the next coming days. And that's an exclusion window. So what this means is that if we look at the users and the prospects in blue over here, so they're showing up a certain amount, a certain distance away from, uh, from the deadline. And so if we have it set up for... Uh, the hybrid deadline is going to be this, you know, the, the next available Friday. Great. Their, their deadline is that next available Friday. It's just a few days away. But sometimes, um, sometimes, for example, in a webinar registration scenario, uh, you, you want there to be a more, you know, a certain amount of time, or you want to skip to the next, like a week from that Friday. So we're going to give you the ability to set up an exclusion window that you could set it up to be a few hours, a few days, whatever you want. But if someone falls into this window where they're, uh, they're too close to that next available day of the week, then you could say, well, if they fall in that window, I would prefer that it not be the first available Friday in this example, but the next available Friday, the following Friday. And so it would actually be a week in some days. And so that exclusion window would give you the ability to send out a certain amount of marketing messages, give, give your prospects time to see the webinar and what have you. So that's going to be coming out in just, uh, just a few days, possibly as, as late as early next week. So that's it. I, I, I hope that you are excited about the, uh, the hybrid deadline. We've got some other cool features that we're going to be talking about very, very soon. So another cool uh, integration. So I'm very excited to be sharing that with you. And like I said, if you have any questions, uh, hit us up on chat. My time, team is here to help you out. And if you have any suggestions, uh, things about this that we just haven't thought of, or just some completely new feature, uh, definitely let us know. We would love to hear from you.